So welcome, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, this IIS's first topper session. I am with uh, Dr. Rohit Solanki, who secured uh, AML rank five in this year's NEET in this year's IIS's exam. So it's a pleasure to welcome you, Doctor. Uh, welcome you to the show. So I usually do this every six months, and uh, each time I speak with a topper, I get uh, different different snippets of information, the different ways of preparation, so that you know it becomes. Uh, there are many ways you can approach an exam. So uh, each topper has his own individual way. Probably might not work for everybody, but it's certainly enlightening to know about uh, each topper and how they prepare. So that this session proves to be helpful for your junior colleagues. So welcome, welcome, Doctor Rohan. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Rohan, you so yeah. much for inviting me. Yeah, uh, Doctor Rohan, could you just introduce yourself? Where did you do your MBBS from? MD from? Which batch yes. are you? And so on. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have done my UG from BJ Medical College, Ahmedabad, and uh, I joined uh, UG in 2014. And uh, I have done my PG from Ampesha Medical College, Jamnagar, uh, which I finished just last year. I entered in 2020. Okay, so yeah, I think you repeated once, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have given one attempt before. This is my second attempt. Second attempt. So, uh, yes, Rohan, so uh, why did you choose cardiology as a subject? Sir, uh, I was like uh, from like my from vague memory, I was inclined towards cardiology since I was like in eleventh or twelfth standard, and uh, then then we took up the medical college and in PG here in our here in our setup there is uh, more exposure to cardiology and uh, it was like uh, always like having adrenaline rush and uh, to help someone it was uh, uh, my inclination towards cardiology from initial days only so. I was interested only in cardiology. I used to love cardiac cycle and physiology and all, and that's why I just took up the cardiology. Actually, we don't like the physiology and anatomy part of cardiology. Uh, but anyway, uh, congrats, uh, Rohit, and uh, I mean, you have done a you know, good show and a great performance. Can you tell me how did you approach preparation for the INISS, especially with you know this year's NEET is a bit of a problem. So how did you approach yes, the INISS? Session? Uh, sir, my basic strategy was uh, to go for uh, like I have gone through whole marrow knots uh, for like twice. Uh, I had done only knots only, and uh, I used to solve question bank along with the knots. Uh, last I have also given last attempt, so my cardiology portion was pretty good. But uh, main my main problem was in general medicine because I haven't read general medicine last time. So this time I mainly focused on general medicine general and medicine. Uh, also, yes, sir. And simultaneously prepared for cardiology. I have gone through not and uh, along with notes, I have, uh, I have seen the tables and charts from the brown walls. This was my basic strategy. Uh, I first uh, used to go through the topics from the notes. Uh, I have seen videos uh, once only, and then I used to go, go from the notes and once I've done with the notes, I was used to uh, see the topics from the Brunwald, uh, Brunwald and uh, used mainly focusing on the charts and tables. Uh, this was my usual strategy for uh, preparing uh, whole during my whole INA this period in second attempt. So you saw the videos once. Did you see the entire yes, video? So you yes, saw sir, I have seen entire video. Yeah, you saw the videos once, but the basic preparation was your notes. You revised the notes yes. a lot of times. Yes, sir. I have re yes, revised uh, at least three or four times the notes. I think the notes are basically a condensation of the entire video. I think uh, they pretty yes, much sir, capture yes, the videos very well. Yes, so sir. Once you have seen the Yeah, probably once you have seen the videos. I think yes. uh, repetition of the uh, revision of the notes is probably sufficient. Yes, so sir, yes, sir. Uh, I think this INS is a lot of controversial questions. You know, uh, they asked a yes, lot sir. of uh, four electrophysiology questions. Now, electrophysiology is an area you know, where MD people have no exposure. DM cardiologists yes, have minimal exposure. So if you yes, there sir. are a few colleges in our country where PG study electrophysiology. Even I study electrophysiology only for my DM final year exam, and then I forgot about it completely. So they asked four yes, electrophysiology questions. So how were you able to answer those? Uh, sir, actually, we do not have even cardiology department here, so we do not have any exposure of, uh, like, even no exposure of cat labs. So we didn't have any exposure of uh, electrophysiology also. But, but sir, uh, I have uh, your MCQ discussion videos. I have repeated them twice uh, before the uh, ex exam day, uh, before the two, two or three days before exam. I have seen only your uh, MCQ discussion video, and in the uh, in the starting of those videos, you you were you said that uh, you also know which balls to leave. 
So, sir, I used that strategy only. I left all those questions of electrophysiology. I have left uh, three of them and marked one, which also I got wrong. Uh, exactly. So, that's what I said. Now, every, you yes, have sir. an approach to your exam. There is no point in uh, simply writing an exam. Uh, they should have more than your uh, degree of knowledge is important, but planning and execution yes, is also important. See, you can yes, see those questions, you know that 99% of the people or even 100% of the people are unlikely to uh, get those four questions correct. So these are topics which no one studies and I think yes. uh, leaving those worlds are equally important. Yes, I think yes, those are well left questions. So, you know, people yes, who get in usually don't concentrate much on these uh, these things. Okay, I've left this question. This question was like this an electrophysiology question. I should have studied this. This should have been taught. But remember, you cannot teach everything in cardiology. You can only really teach the most high yielding sessions. Because this this ionizes, it might be electrophysiology. You study electrophysiology for 10 hours, you go there. Next ionizes, they might ask you something entirely different. But remember, you can leave questions. It's not necessary that you yes. answer everything. You can leave questions. That is, leaving the ball is also equally important. Also, it's like test cricket. You have to leave balls. You cannot be like uh, T20 mode and start attacking everything. Yes, sir. So, um, I, this year, I think you did not have the headache of knee test preparation. So, I think that was an advantage for you because otherwise you get confused. Should I study for knee test? Yes. Should I study for, for the INSS? And that becomes a confusion. So, so things are pretty much clear for you. So, uh, uh, did you write the last INSS? Yes, sir. I have written last INSS also. Last INSS. So, what was your rank in the last INSS? Uh, sir, CM, my CML rank was 27 and my AML rank was 19 last time, sir. Okay. So, uh, my question is, uh, like, uh, you improved your rank. So, what was your strategy to improve your rank? What were, uh, what uh, did, did things did you do different to get into, uh, get, sir, get a higher rank? Uh, so just, uh, first, uh, um, this time my main focus was on my questions which are, I was getting wrong. So, so the questions which I was getting wrong, I revised, this, revised those topics uh, twice, uh, twice or four, four times. And uh, along with uh, those topics, uh, last time I hadn't like uh, seen uh, anything from the Bruno order. And I also uh, missed some topics like uh, uh, diseases of aorta and twice, two or three topics were left by me. So it was my mistake. So I included those topics uh, in my preparation this time. So I like uh, I knew uh, which were the mistakes uh, which were being done by me during last attempt. So I just mainly focused on my mistake portion. So I corrected this time and I got the rank. I guess I don't know. I think that's important. Uh, learning. See, many people yes, get into the first first attempt, but if you don't get in your first attempt. Learning from your mistakes is also equally important. You cannot repeat the same thing. You know, same, uh, yes, doing sir. the same thing over, over, over and over again and hoping for a different outcome is foolish. Yes, so, uh, yeah, so you did not have much of a cardiology backup or a cardiology department in your college. So yes, for sir. those who there are many medical colleges in India who do, which does not have a cardiology department, you know, so that... Uh, uh, you, you are exposed to uh, primary PCI cases or you're exposed to uh, CRTs or ICDs. So at least you see those discharge cards. cards. So when yes, you, is it different studying in a college which has a cardiology department versus not having a cardiology department? Do you find any difference in that? Uh, sir, like uh, we do not have cardiology department, but uh, here we have uh, visiting cardiologists here. So uh, with uh, that visiting cardiologist, uh, we get to know various modalities and what approach we can further tackle up. So it definitely helps you if there is a cardiology department available in your uh, in your setup. Uh, but uh, we uh, we do not have department. But uh, in my third year on uh, in my third year of MD, uh, there were two cardiologists that were come. Uh, that were coming here as a visiting faculty and we used to get so much knowledge from them so we are also i am also thankful to them so sir yes definitely if there is cardiology department in your uh, college then it's definitely going to help you i think if you have a cardiology department especially a structured uh, course like people who are doing dm there one is yes, your chances might come down i think because you did not have a cardiology department you get to do more procedures that's one yes, advantage. Sir. But uh, if you have a cardiology department, one adv uh, one advantage is that there will be a structured uh, setup. Like a STEMI patient comes, he goes straight for an M uh, primary angioplasty. Right. You know what to do. 
And since primary angioplasties are being taken, you can see STEMI complications and all those things. So you have more yeah. exposure once you have a structured PG training program for DM. And also you get a fair idea about what do you want to do in your DM. Suppose you find uh, uh, the PG training program, like a DM program is toxic or you like the DM program, you have a better idea of what it is. Yes, so uh, uh, how how did you approach Braun while you read the tables and you just read the tables and charts, right? Could you just read the tables yes, and charts? I find it difficult to understand just isolatedly reading a table or a chart. No, because there are numerous tables. No, no, sir. Uh, like, uh, first I read the topic from notes only of Mero. And after reading it from notes, I uh, I used to read it, uh, read the same topic no uh, same topic from the brown world only tables and charts and if, if anything is missing there in the notes then I'll add up uh, that thing in the, uh, uh, the in the notes. So, uh, the notes. Yes, yes, sir. So were you able to understand the tables and charts after re after reading the notes or video? Yes, sir. Mostly, sir, uh, because your uh, content is also from so mainly covering brown walls, sir. So it was pretty really, like easy for me to understand the charts uh, chat from the brown walls. Uh, any complicated topics you found in cardiology, which were uh, uh, weakest subjects in cardiology, weakest portions in cardiology? Uh, uh, sir, uh, every time they ask uh, peripheral di uh, diseases of uh, uh, peripheral artery diseases and uh, diseases uh, aneurysm of aorta. Every time they ask question on these topics, uh, one or two questions are there. And yes, sir, uh, uh, one topic which I felt which which was uh, uh, investigation in cardiology, uh, in, in, not investigation, the MRI and uh, MRI in cardiology and uh, uh, that spec and fat portion. They ask more detail and OCT and IOS question. They ask detailed question in IOS and OCT. Like I think it's difficult for you guys. Yes, it's difficult yes, for you guys without understanding. Without at least. See, just imagine, I learned about IOS and OCT after finishing my degree. So, without yes, seeing sir. it, it's like uh, by hurting a lot of things. I think what I've been yes, observing sir. consistently is that the paper standard keeps on going up from 2021. So, you do all these yes. recall sessions, you find that the paper standard keeps on, they keep on increasing, increasing, yes. increasing the paper standard. And, you know, maybe in one particular day, you might find that it might be a DM cardiology exit level paper. But that's how yes, it was actually. So when we were writing exams in 2015, we found that they used to ask uh, which catheter has an end hole, which catheter has a side hole. They used to ask CAT studies, you know, and it was all, yes. and uh, we did not understand anything, but these were the level of questions. I think there's a steady hike up in the level of questions. And probably there's more and more content. So I'm reshooting a lot of videos. And I find that the yes, videos get, keep on getting longer. Because there is yes, more sir. and more content added and more and more areas to focus. So I think uh, good that you got in early because if yes, you sir. probably in a few years now, even the videos will also get yes, longer and become. Yeah. Sir, so, last, uh, since four, last four yeah. attempts, they are asking questions. Sir, since last four uh, times, they are asking questions on OCT and they are increasing the level every time. If we see the images now, they are asking like how to deploy the stent and what can be the complications. So they are increasing levels in each and every exam. That's why there is a paradox. Now, NEET is saying that you have to go to your MD level and INSS is keeping on increasing it to a DM level. So there is a certain yes. paradox there. I think uh, to the messages to all your guys, to all your juniors, are deep, uh, they can keep on increasing the level to whatever standards they want, even to a DM exit level. So the problem is, remember, the paper is same for everyone. And yes, everyone is post-MD. Now, no one is writing the exam post-DM. Everyone is post-MD. Yes. And I think uh, it will become a such, such an important thing that you have to leave questions alone. So leaving a question also be equally important because you yes, once sir. you see a question, you must realize that, okay, if this question is cannot be answered by everyone, for the majority of the population, to zero sum question. So instead of getting yes, a negative mark, you please leave that question. So I think that would be a fair approach. I think there are a lot of questions which come as repeats, a lot of questions which yes, come from sir. straightforward areas in cardiology. I think you can fairly attempt those and get a seat rather than uh, overreaching yourself and then, uh, especially with those easy questions, overreaching yourself and getting into negative territory. So, uh, any uh, how was uh, how was the marrow uh, videos? How was the MCQ bank? And how was the notes for you guys? So, marrow videos are like gold standard for the preparation of INI. I would say 
Uh, sir, once seeing the videos, your concept will be like more than clear. So uh, that's why I did not to see the video second time. And uh, revision is uh, the notes are like pretty perfect because you when you read the notes, you like I'm seeing the sir only uh, your words are hitting in the ears. So notes are like also very very well prepared. And so uh, I would recommend that uh, Mero videos and notes is one thing you must and must do for the INISS preparation. I think conceptual learning is uh, given a yes, great sir, from there. Yes, concepts are very important. Than, yeah, rather than mugging it up, I think building your concept it makes the subject also more interesting. Na? Rather concept, than simply yes, sitting sir. and white hearting. So there are several complex topics in cardiology, like heart failure, preserved ejection of fraction. You read brown wall, you won't yes. understand anything. And yes, sir, yes, sir. Physics and all those things. So I think conceptual learning is much more important. And it also, I think, how is how effective is it for you at the bedside? For your clinical practice, so uh, because uh, we have no, we do not have cardiology department, but uh, all cardiac patients and everything is get admitted here. So, sir, it is like we we do have uh, in our uh, MD only we do echoes and everything. And so, sir, your videos were like uh, uh, it was it were increasing our understanding and increasing our it was helping also in our patient management. And sir, we like uh, learn when to refer the patient, what we can do at our level, and we can send the patient to next level. So they were also very helpful in clinical level as well as for understanding the uh, topics bedside in uh, along with the patients. Sir, they were very, very, very helpful. I think I receive a lot of echoes and ECGs from your institution. Actually, they send me the echo yes, of consecutive pericarditis and uh, <laughs> so yes, I think I, that's how I know your college actually. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, how was the GT grant test and the MCQ bank of Marrow? Sir, uh, sir, like uh, uh, Q Bank is uh, pretty good, but sir, uh, GTs, uh, GTs are also okay, but uh, like uh, they are pretty different from INI papers. Like GTs were more towards uh, factual, uh, Marrow GT is more towards factual questions, which is uh, not in the like actual INI case like this time and also last time. They are now more toward uh, like the topics they are asking. It is pretty same every time, but they are going um, more in depth. Not deeper they are not going deeper. for yes, sir. They are going deeper and they are not any asking any factual question. They are uh, they are uh, hitting our concepts mainly. So if you, our concepts are right, then uh, uh, it is like pretty easy for clear, clearing the MCQ. But otherwise, if you are uh, mugging up everything, then it is very difficult. To get the answers in INI exam correct, you can get the answer correct in Meru GT, but uh, in INI it will be yeah. pretty difficult. But so, uh, so notes and videos are like more, 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 very important, and they are so conceptual. So it is easier to solve the question in actual INI exam also. I think uh, I think we have to improve our GT then. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> thank you for your yeah. feedback actually. But again, stressing the importance of conceptual understanding. You know, cardiology yes. is a subject where you will I mean, in fact the whole of medicine probably medicine, concept, yes. especially cardiology probably conceptual understanding is uh, very important. No, you're not in uh, eight standard, nine standard, ten standard where you can buy heart and go. You know, sometimes they test your concept a lot. They switch the question and then you'll have to rationalize and get an answer, make an educated guess. So I think uh, developing your concept especially is very important. And even then, you're you're a physician. You're dealing with lives of the patient, so you should have a solid understanding of what you are doing. You know, see, see yes, example is you see a lot of patients. Any patient who comes to Disney, I send an entry for BNP. So you should know when to send, when not to send, send why yes, you are sending it. I think those are focused well in the videos. So for yes, juniors, sir, yes. I think uh, a lot of uh, information, I think conceptual understanding, uh, focusing on high yield topics, you know, revision of uh, say brown wall tables, uh, detailed understanding of the videos and the notes. I think that is a high priority. So uh, yes, I think uh, any particular preferences for your college? Yes, sir. Like I, uh, in the last attempt, also I was getting colleges uh, uh, like from except from AIMS Delhi and CGI. I wanted sir AIMS Delhi or PGI, so I gave my attempt again. Sir, so mostly I will get PGI Chandigarh this time. So I am very happy, sir. That's good. PGI Chandigarh is an excellent place to do your DM. <laughs> so anyway, uh, congrats, congrats, doctor, and uh, you know. Uh, hopefully we keep in touch. You might see some somewhere in some conferences, and uh, I think you can give your feedback on how to improve the marrow videos, and not only for cardiology as a whole, because you get cardio, you get the entire package. 
so thank you guys and uh, thank you thank you so much sir